everybody. This is Tippy Toes. Tippy Toes has been through quite a bit since she came to us. She came from a breeder operation where the breeder was very sick and ultimately she passed away. But there were uh, about over 25 dogs on the property. Uh, we worked with a couple of other rescue groups and got them all safe uh, and out of the situation. Tippy Toes was actually hiding in a dog house. We were looking for her. It was raining that day. It was muddy everywhere. And she was being white. We couldn't find her or see her right away uh, towards the end of our little tour there, trying to make sure we got everybody. Uh, the man, the son said, where's, and I can't remember what her name was, where's so-and-so. And so we started looking around and she was hiding or she was in the back of an igloo so the igloo was white she was white we didn't see her right away but anyways we pulled her out of there she has since been bedded um we noticed that she was um had seemed to be in a lot of pain uh her eyes uh she would hold her head back it's just we knew something was up so we had our vet test for glaucoma in her right eye actually both eyes the right eye was so bad it ultimately ended up rupturing and so it had to be removed there was no saving it the left eye the pressure is fine but that doesn't mean that over time that she could end up with glaucoma in the left eye so she's a sweet little girl she's being very shy right now because she doesn't know what i'm doing but uh, i'm going to put her on the ground let you see her walk around when you carry her she does the little swimming thing with her paw front paws not sure what that's about, but we find that some dogs do do that. It's kind of funny. A little booger. We've been keeping the cone on her, even though her sutures have been removed. I'll take that off. Um, oh, what are you going to do? Can I take it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Can I get it? Um, but we're keeping the cone on her because she still wants to scratch at that opening. Well, it's not open, but at that incision. So we don't want her doing that. Are you going to sleep? So I'm, as soon as I get done here, I'm putting the cone back on her little little butt because we don't want her messing with that incision and busting it open. Even though it's healed, you know, you know, we just want to make sure. So I'm going to put her on the ground, take her outside, let you see her walk around. So we'll be right back. Show if she, see if she do the swimming thing. She's not doing it right now. Hold on, i got to open the door. Dizzy. You're not gonna do the swimming thing? Hmm? Okay, we're gonna let you down. I got a couple other dogs out here right now. Wanna do the swimming thing? Do the swimming She's not gonna do it. So said, I'm not gonna do it right now. I don't wanna do it right now. Okay, I'm gonna put you on the ground. Okie doke. So there she is. Says, I want to check you out. We just released Nadia from quarantine, so she's trying to check out Nadia. So, um, Tippy Toes is just a really chill little girl. She did have bladder stones that had to be removed. Big bladder stones. We'll even give them to you if you want them, if you adopt her. Sorry, she has to pee. She says, I gotta go. I could, didn't get on the ground fast enough. If you'll notice, her peas are very little. Her bladder was uh, pretty much swollen and um, so it has become, I don't know how to word it, over time with the bladder stones, her bladder has become thick, so she can't really hold a lot of pee, so she does little ones, little tiny ones. She is on special food, veterinary, S-O, urinary food that she will have to stay on um, for the rest of her life, and she does eat it, she does like it, and we give it to her twice a day. We um, measure it out, and she gets that twice a day. She's not allowed outside to eat with the other dogs because we want her to stay on that uh, bladder uh, food. What else can we say? She's spayed now. She's heartworm negative. She's up to date on everything. She is microchipped. See, there we go, a little tinkle. Little tiny tinkle. So that's something you're just going to have to understand that, you know, maybe you have an area, you just put down some potty pads, you know, if you're used to caring for dogs that are special needs, 
then you'll be the right home for this little girl, but you can probably have a setup um, for special needs. She's absolutely precious. Can't get enough of her. Everybody loves her. She's so quiet and chill. And um, so, right? Oh, she, I'm real quiet and I'm super chill. Yes, I am. I'm a good girl. Yeah, she's a, got a great side eye now that she's lost that one eye. You got a great side eye. You got an awesome side eye. All right. I hope I said everything. And if I haven't, it'll be in her write up on our Facebook page. Uh, she'll be in our adoptable dog album pinned to the top of our page. Or um, go to our uh, website, roadtorescuela.org, and find her under adoptables. And you can read all about her. And we recommend that you do. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.